Welcome again, everybody, to Hot Plate Madness. It's Roger and no Jen Martin today, and we'll tell you who this is in one second. We're pretty excited because we're doing Sean's Sassy Sausage Skillet. Whew, that's almost a tongue twister. <laughs> this is Sean, and Sean is what I'm going to call a master chef. You've won awards for your cooking. Yes. Three-time winner, four-time winner four. of the... Uh, Fill your, fill your bowl, fill your cup. Empty bowl. Empty bowl. <laughs> You're filling it with stuff. <laughs> and you've also been on Chopped. Actually, it was the Chopped Home Edition. Chopped yeah. Home Edition. Yes. And you, you won. I made it to the second round and got, I got Chopped. Oh, so you got <laughs> Chopped. So that's even actually cooler by getting Chopped. So we're doing some sassy sausage, sausage stuff today. That is a tongue twister. Yes. So, Sean Sassy Sausage Skillet. <laughs> so, uh, it, what right? are we doing here? So, today we're going to do the Sassy Sausage Skillet. And what I like to do is start off with a little olive oil, Roger. Okay. If you could help me with that. And I'm just dumping that right in here? Yes. Okay. Just, like completely? The whole yes, thing? Okay. Because exactly. uh, Jen and I, as the entire audience knows, don't know really what we're doing. And so, <laughs> I'm excited exactly. to uh, follow your directions exactly. Okay. You oh, she right has it. Now, Sean, you've, have you seen the show before? Um, actually, I did see one episode. And so you understand this part? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Welcome to our little show, Sean. And then next, you're going to start with the potatoes. Okay, and so you've already chopped these guys up. Yes, so you can buy any type of potatoes you like from the store. You know, they're pretty reasonable. So I have the color potatoes that was freshly grown mm -hmm. here. A little bit of purple and red potatoes and little um, the golden golden potatoes. Mm -hmm. And you can just pour half of that. Half of it in there. Yes. Okay, this is where it gets tricky for me. Half. <laughs> is that half? That's about half. Do you hear that sizzle? And then am I doing, stir those around doing a little this bit. thing? Okay. Yes. And while Roger's stirring that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And so that, and what you did right there, that's like a pinch. Yes, about a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. <laughs> and you always want to season up high. You know, that's what chefs do. That way it don't just get into one little spot. Okay, so is that that thing I see on the internet where the dude's doing that good. thing? Yes. Yeah, okay, all right. That's all correct. right, that works. And you're going to let the uh, potatoes cook for just about two minutes until they start getting a little golden brown. Okay. And then we'll add the next ingredient. And what is the next ingredient going so to be? So the next ingredient, we're going to add some of the bell peppers. And I bought uh, colorful bell peppers, so green, yellow, red, whichever ones you prefer. Oh, wow. And it says right here, don't touch Sean's show items. I love that. <laughs> don't touch these. They're okay. Awesome. That's because I have more than uh, a lot of containers <laughs> in my refrigerator, and I don't want anyone touching my work. Well, you know, at home, when I put stuff on in the fridge, you know, and I say, uh, Sarah, my wife, don't don't use this, do you know what happens? She uses Yeah, it. I don't, yeah. So yeah. yours apparently works, because here they are. So that's awesome. All right, so when can you actually tell that these are ready? Is it just when they start browning? So, yes. You see how the different color, you see how, like, the white... See, and you can tell she's a master chef because she has no fear of doing this towards the uh, oil. I love yeah, that part. Hot. I wouldn't do that. No, don't, I'm not don't a master try chef. that at home, please. You have to be master chef status. <laughs> and so is it, are we trying to get these really soft then or just brown? Just al dente. Okay, dropping some knowledge yeah. right there, al dente. <laughs> what is an al dente potato? So an al dente potato is... Um, it's partially hard and partially soft as al dente. Yes, um, okay. I You're correct. I make spaghetti sometimes when I do noodles al dente yeah. and when I put the sauce in it just... Well, I'm all about al dente for noodles, as we've learned on this show where I'm throwing <laughs> pasta all over the place. But this, okay, so, all right, so, so what do you think? That's looking good. Okay. So then you can start with the peppers and we'll just do half of that. I'd say about a half a cup as well. Half a cup. So you might want to use the spoon so you can get a little bit of all the different peppers. Sure. Can I mix them together yes, like this sure first? Can. After I had already done it, I ask yeah. if that's okay. <laughs> Does that work? Yes. And do I, I want more than this, bro? Yes, about three spoons. 
the peppers give the potatoes a nice flavor. Okay, so That's should perfect. there be more? That's, That's good. good. And then we're going to grab the onions over there. And you're going to add about half your bag. Half the bag. And that'll be like one third of a cup. So if you buy a whole onion in the store, you can just cut it in half, and that's about a third. Okay, and so like maybe that? Yes, about that much. Perfect. Perfect? Yes. Everyone who's seen the show before knows I love me some onions, so <laughs> I'm down with this. I mean, Jen, if she was here, she'd be freaking out right now. I can't see, I can't see. <laughs> okay, so then we're just stirring this together. Yes. And then that has a little bit of um, garlic over there as well. Oh. I'm going to add a pinch of garlic. So you, these are not chopped very fine at all. No, and so he, that brings out the flavor. Right, so, mm -hmm. okay, so how much about, am I, is, is that too that's much? That's about two cloves, so that's perfect. That's perfect, so yes. kind of like that. And then stir it around so you can get that flavor. You can already kind of smell a little bit the mixtures, the onions and the garlic, and even the, the peppers you can smell. Yeah. That's good. So that's looking good. So while that's browning, we're going to get ready to add the sausage. Oh, of course, because it's some, some sa sassy, sassy sausage, sausage going on here. It. All right, I like that. And you... Well, we're at half of about... I'd say... It, Maybe if you go to the store and get the Jimmy Beans or whatever brand you like, if the sausage, you can use the Italian sweet sausage or whatever. Okay. I'd say um, one pound. Okay. So that's about two pounds, so you just half of them. I like the way you think. So it's called for one pound, but you got two pounds, and we're dumping yeah. the whole thing in. The more the better. <laughs> so we're yes. dumping the whole thing in? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down with that. Okay, and then I'm just breaking this up a little. Yep, you're going to break it up and let that brown a little bit. And while Roger's doing that, I'm going to add another little pinch of salt. And a pinch of pepper. There we go. And then I'm going to crack these eggs real quick while we're just doing that. And now you were saying the eggs are like an addition. They're not, addition. They're not necessarily needed. No, but everybody likes eggs. So, and you can either scramble them inside the skillet or you can push some of the sausage, sausage to the side and just do a sunny side up. So you... Did you just say, I, I, I was yes. not paying attention. <laughs> so, Welcome to my little show where we don't pay attention. You would actually it. try to cook the egg right in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. But that's more of a chef technique. Well, that's you your technique because that's way beyond my <laughs> skill set right there. That would not even happen. I actually almost kind of want to see that happen. Okay. All right, cool. Let's do it. We're going to let that brown, brown a little bit more. Okay. And what's that that you have this in there? This is more olive oil. Okay. So since you want me to show you, I'm going to add just a tad bit more for the egg. Well, part of the show is getting like punched in the face with knowledge. <laughs> and you're the master teacher here, and so I want to get punched in the face All right. with knowledge. <laughs> Well, we did the trash already because I was concerned because it's, you know, Master Chef and she like follows all the established kitchen safety and sanitation yes. and it even brought, because she had seen the show before apparently, it even brought her own little thing mm -hmm. and that's not how we roll in the hot plate kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I see okay, that now. It leaves less trash Right, right. exactly. <laughs> there we go. See? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so that looks nice and golden brown. And so we're going to just move it to one side. That's why it's called the sassy yeah. sausage. Chef. <laughs> it's, it's even hard for the master chef to say. Sassy mm -hmm. sausage skillet. 
All right, and so we're going to get punched in the face with some knowledge right here. So you're going to be able to cook that egg right there. Yes. So All just right. make a little room there. I'm going to add just a little bit more easy oh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Or you can use butter or whatever you have at home, canola oil. I just like, or even um, coconut oil is really healthy too. Oh, cool. And we're going to drop these right there on the side. Just like that. Well done. Ah, yeah. Just let it do its thing. My mind is completely blown right now, actually. <laughs> I didn't. There's no way I would have even attempted to do that. Yeah, or you can scramble it and just make it into a scramble, so it can be uh, Sean Sassy sausage <laughs> skillet and a skillet scramble. <laughs> yeah, we need to drop all these S titles. I think. We've yes. Oh well, my gosh, four S's right there. Yeah, we can't say that. Can't and so, are you going to like over edible. easy these guys, or what are you going to do? You can do it over easy, sunny side up. You can scramble it however you like your eggs. Okay. I actually want so to see it. I, like well, yours? I would love, because one of the things I joke with about Jen is that nobody can actually turn an egg. Okay. And so now, not only can we see you turn the egg, but being that you're the master chef, you've got all this other food there. Yep, and I can still turn it. Dang. <laughs> So let me show you how it's done. I am so glad we have an above above camera right up there. Because it's getting all this right there. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Right. And this, this may be, you know, analyzed for years to come as to how you actually were able to do this. Yeah. So you just gotta just Okay, so you're freeing it up from the other pieces the, of food there. Yes. And then you get it. Notice gently. how I'm backing away like I'm afraid. I don't know why I'm gently. afraid. Gently. Flip. <laughs> there you go. That is amazing. Okay. All right. And so essentially, then, is this meal basically done at this point? It's basically done, and you can um, once you take it out and plate it. If you want my plating some up for me, Roger. I, I, well, I I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> How, how do I actually plate this though? Because we've got this egg here. So you can take the spoon and take a little bit like that. And then I'll scramble some more eggs for everyone else. And then we can sprinkle it with a little chop some cheese. Okay. All right, so we want to have the cheese on there? Yeah. Because what we want to get is we want somebody to come up and taste test this for us. Yes. Who would like to do that? Dakota. <laughs> yeah. And so Dakota, do you want some cheese on here? Sure. Okay. And we, is, is, so Sean, is that like about the amount of cheese you want? A little bit more. She, she knows where to my heart. A lot more. of cheese. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's good. Okay. And then, and, and is there going to be egg? some egg on there? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just put it right on top and then it'll... Yeah, and so I'm taking the whole egg? Yes. So right on top. And just you can mm -hmm. add a little sriracha. Oh, okay. There's sriracha. sriracha. How do you say that? Sriracha. sriracha. All right. Uh-oh. Have you tried sriracha? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried saying it, and I failed at that. Go. Yeah. How's that? Okay. Good. So Dakota, come on right in the middle here. And this is, and it's hard for me to say what this is, but it is Sean's Sassy, Sassy sausage, sausage Skillet. Yeah. Give us a verdict on it. And how you like your <laughs> eggs? Scramble? Oh, man. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> this is like comfort food all in itself. Mm -hmm. Like if you're having a bad day, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right on. Oh man, thank you. You're it's welcome. really good. Good. All right. Go home and watch this oh, see, she's gonna go home and watch the episode once we post it. Wonderful. So, um, maybe you should. Maybe we should just call it Sean's Hot Plate Show. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I don't think I'm that important anymore. Um, so. No, so Rogers. 
Thank you so Sean, much. No, Sean, thank you so much for coming out and punching us all in the face with knowledge and making me feel like and small, and, small mm -hmm. and insignificant, right? Punching us in the face with flavor, too. And with punching flavor. us in the f face with flavor and everything else. Um, mm. I think this was probably the most successful show we've had. So, <laughs> Sean, again, thank <laughs> you very much. Thank we'll you. see you next time. Bye-bye. Right.